When I first tried the demo for Road 96, a couple things struck me right away. The aesthetic was a bit more on the cartoony side, but it lent itself well to the landscapes and some of the buildings I would come across. And though some of the character models I thought were a bit clunkier than others, as a story-driven gamer, I knew this was a game I would eventually pick up, and I'm glad I did. In Road 96, you play as one of several teenagers trying to flee the fictional state of Petria among rising political tensions during the year 1996 between the current president Tyrak and his opponent Flores, and in the middle of all of it, a group calling themselves the Black Brigades who aim to take justice into their own hands. Graphically, the game isn't strictly cel-shaded, but has a less than realistic approach to the aesthetic, and some character models look much better than others. Having seen other products that Digixart the developer has put out, I believe this is a somewhat intentional approach to further capture a 90s vibe of the game. I think it works to an extent, save for again some clunkier models than others that seem a little bit inconsistent, but otherwise didn't detract much from the fun of the game. Gameplay-wise, it sort of reminded me of the Stanley Parable in that even though this is Choose Your Own Adventure, it's not just simply point and click as you are able to move freely around at many points, picking up different objects, talking to characters along the way, or going into different buildings if you're walking along the road. There are usually a few dialogue responses you can choose from, whether you agree with the current regime, are in support of the border crossers, or choose not to take a side, all of your choices will have consequences and make for very different road trips. Along the road, you may have the option to find someone's car keys, attempt hitchhiking farther along the road, or try calling a taxi or bus. One of the game's greatest qualities is the recurring main cast of characters that each of your different characters will run into along the way to the border, which continues to reveal more and more of the backstory of the political tensions and motives for the characters to cross the border. Among the delightful cast of characters besides the teenagers you're controlling are teenager Zoe, who seems to be a bit of a free spirit and happy to share her own story with you, the very full of herself reporter Sonia Sanchez, who will always introduce the chapters for you, some of my favorite characters, the hapless robbers Stan and Mitch, the very cold and dark Jared, and John, a member of the Black Brigades, to name a few. The voice actors I thought all did a great job, though I did find the voice acting for this kid Alex a bit tacked on and forced personally. Driving is a state of mind, and I'm on a higher plane of consciousness. The music is also very fitting for the 90s vibe with being able to find and collect tapes and playing them in car radios or stereos you find along the way being a nice little touch. The menus offer a good deal of customization too, from being able to invert the camera, to toggling subtitles or changing the text size of the subtitles, or the movement of selecting the different responses. The game offers some pretty decent replay value too, in the form of New Game Plus. Along the way, you'll acquire various skills that you didn't have earlier on in the game, and thus you open even more routes and choices that you can make, which makes up a good chunk of the fun. After my first playthrough, I honestly didn't have too many gripes about Road 96, and it was a very pleasant surprise, and New Game Plus expanded my gameplay by a good 8 hours or so. However, it also isn't a perfect game. The cartoony aesthetic will probably turn some players off, and not all character models are the best looking characters. In fact, I think some of them look like they belong in a Nintendo 64 game, but again, maybe that's what Digixart was going for. I think I would have preferred some more realistic characters, but I think part of that choice may have been because the game can depict violence toward kids in this world. Also, when you're responding to people, you actually control a cursor on screen instead of just using the D-pad to select them. I found this a bit annoying, as the selections will physically move if a character is moving their head around, for example, and there were at least two times where I ended up selecting a choice I didn't want to just because the character in question suddenly moved their head. That aside, controlling your character around in first person is a breeze, and the controls are responsive everywhere else. There's great music here, a colorful cast of characters that you look forward to running into along your road trip, some puzzles that you can solve, and a great number of choices to actually reach Road 96 and cross the border. If you're not sure, I'd say check out the demo on the eShop, but if you enjoy story-driven, choose-your-own-adventure style games, say for example anyone that's a fan of the Batman Telltale series, and to an extent the Stanley Parable, I'd recommend checking out Road 96. Not to mention, it's 1996 for the full game on eShop, and to me, it's been well worth the ride. Thanks so much for watching. As always, please help out the channel by clicking subscribe, like, comment, let me know your thoughts on Road 96 or any other game you might be playing at the moment, and I'll catch you in the next video.